Hi guys, this is James again from IM Relations. I just want to go over how we're going to use the Google Keyword Tool. I'm going to have a link to this page on your site. This is actually the Google AdWords Keyword Tool, but it's great because it's going to show you if these keywords are good for um, AdWords, then they're going to be good for your SEO rankings as well. One of the things to look for on SEO rankings for an affiliate site is to get good rankings on keywords that are buyers if they're buying through if people are paying for it then they're getting paid for it so we're gonna go right here to our notepad where we recorded these select our first few keywords you don't want to do more than about 10 to 15 at a time Google kind of doesn't like it when you do that so go back over here make sure you fill out the capture box and right here where it says so use synonyms make sure that you have that checked you want those extra keywords because that's going to give you even more keyword ideas that you can look at so come down here to get keyword ideas let google run for just a minute and then what i want to do is go ahead just to keep it organized search by global monthly volume this is what you want to pay attention to now if you notice a lot of those keywords that we had don't get really good searches you're only getting 170 this is how much per month you know 170 per month this isn't good rankings that's why you want those synonyms because if you get a bunch of low quality uh, keywords there but now dealing with jealousy it's probably going to be highly competitive for that one but it's got a good search volume so we're going to go ahead and click add and you'll notice it comes in over here um, see right here dealing with jealousy and we're going to compile a list over here of all the keywords we're going to say um, now remember what I said before I want to keep keywords that are three phrases or more I also like to personally I prefer to look for keywords that are more natural that you're going to write about naturally if I'm writing naturally I'm not going to say jealousy how to deal with in an article again we're looking for three keyword phrases but one of the other things I want to look at is search volume see here 1300 1000 I don't really want to go and it's part of why I searched and sorted them by volume anything less than 1300 I don't want um, the reason why is because you get less than that and really you're not going to drive enough traffic especially with a small site um, now you can go for smaller uh, less well defined keywords you know 480 I could go for these but you need to match the amount of search so instead of building a site say 30 articles with 1300 uh, keywords if I'm going to go for words instead with 500 keywords okay then that means I need three articles to match what I can do with the same amount of traffic I can do with that one so you know instead of 30 articles if I'm going for this volume here this 480 and I've got almost three times the amount right here of search volume that means I've got to write 90 articles to get the same amount of traffic I could get here for 30 articles. Now, if you're running a blog, you know, and you're constantly updating that blog, hey, these little short, small volume keywords are great because you're going to be constantly posting on that blog. You're going to be constantly adding content to that blog. And a lot of times when I start off my blogs, that's what I do. I target these very low volume keywords um, because I can build up enough traffic off of those low volume keywords and then once I get a good readership and I get some love with the search engines and get start getting some page rank on my other pages then you start targeting these other keywords and it's going to be easier to rank for the higher volume keywords it works on a blog it doesn't really work on a static site unless you plan on building that site into a super huge site so I really don't have a whole lot here that looks like they're going to be buying keywords what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back up here delete those off and we're gonna keep going down my list um, cheating wife control C control 
control V keyword ideas and you know I didn't do a full list here what you really want if you're doing this for the first time for your site you want signs of a cheating wife go ahead and add that one in um, you want to look for keywords that are problems that people are going to want to solve um, that they're willing to spend money to solve um, if your wife is cheating on you guess what you're going to be willing to spend money to solve that problem trust me <laughs> um, now how to catch a cheating spouse not only is that a high volume search word I happen to know there's a specific product that's named how to catch a cheating spouse so that's going to be a great product name keyword that you can use to write a review of that product with as well and it gets a 5,000 volume search word that's probably why they used it when they did that um, but those ch signs of a cheating boyfriend how specific is your site that's something else you need to look at when you're looking at these keywords um, is your spouse cheating that's a good keyword for an article directory's article or a blog post or to syndicate out content so you just want to select these and again watch the search volume but also kind of judge if you think if this is going to be something somebody's willing to pay for again we're still over the 1300 search volume and what I'll do sometimes is I'll go ahead and go down here and say okay just work my way up okay now I can just say okay I'm at my search volume minimum here right okay so now I can just work my way up and look at the keywords there's a lot of these that are about how to tell. The problem with a lot of these how to tells is a lot of times it's just people looking for information they're not willing to buy. Some of these too, I'll go ahead and save some of these lower search volume ones because I do run a blog in that niche, so I'm willing to look at some of the lower search volume terms. But if you're doing a static web page, you know, 1300 or less, if you're going for a blog, I still try to stay anything over 500. If it's under 500, it's really not worth my time to target it. Um, that's 500 per month, and a lot of times those these will fluctuate. I look at this global because that's gonna give me a more accurate idea of what people do over time rather than just this month. Um, if you look here, for instance, okay, just this month, spy on your spouse got 880 but the global average is only 590 means you know a lot of people had searches in the United States this month for it but globally it's not doing that well so that's not something you really want to target very well right now so we're gonna go back up here and if you don't notice okay every time I'm hitting that save or add I've now compiled this list. Now look at it here. I've already got 18 keywords just right there. Now not all of those are buying keywords and those aren't all going to go on my site. You want at least 20 to 25 good buying keywords for your site itself and then you need a good series of keywords that are relevant to those same topics that you can use for your syndicated articles and you'll notice too when you do another search if you've already added that keyword to your list it's already going to be over here so you won't have to worry about duplicating your uh, list okay now look here you know this is why I say the cheating husband's cheating okay it gets search volume of 22,000 um, but in my next video I'm going to show you how to use Google to check on some of the competition as well as traffic drivers has been having an affair we're gonna go ahead and save these keywords now and see right here it says you can download these keywords download it as a text file then now you have this text file that has all those keywords that you just saved stay tuned on our next video we're gonna go to Google and show you how to use the Google search and start checking up on your competition.